Hello everybody, welcome to a tropical update. Here's the wide red Atlantic right now, and you can see uh, still a fairly active Atlantic, at least for November standards here. Uh, we got Tropical Storm Ida on its way out uh, after it made landfall over Florida uh, earlier this morning. And we also got Tropical Storm Theta out in the open Atlantic, um, closing up to the North the United States. Uh, might give some of the Azores some inclement weather here um, uh, as it moves along uh, here away from them. And we also got Invest the 98L, which has a really high chance of formation here into becoming a next name system or a tropical depression swing system. And if it does get a name, uh, the next Greek name up would be Iota. Um, if it does uh, end up getting named, which seems more likely than not at this time. Let's take a look at Invest 91, 98L, I'm sorry here. Uh, and Invest 98L has a high 80% chance of formation throughout the next 48 hours into a tropical depression swing system or higher. And into the next five days has a high 90% percent chance formation into a tropical depressive drink system or higher here as it continues to develop. Here's uh, satellite imagery of it from GO16. And you can see some fairly scattered showers and thunderstorms just firing over where the center of circulation may be trying to get going here. Um, and again, uh, we're still just a few out. We're still at least probably two days or so away um, from this developing into a tropical depressive drink system. But you know, you never know with these things. It could uh, develop a little bit earlier than forecast or it could develop a little bit later than forecast here or right on time. Um, so just please keep an eye on it here. Um, regardless, it poses a flooding threat for uh, pretty much most of Central America or maybe uh, parts of the Yucatan, depending on where it exactly tracks here. Um, models are thinking maybe um, over in northern uh, Nicaragua or maybe Honduras. And some are t taking it as far north as Belize. Uh, so um, not as wide of a spread as, say, you know, uh, Tropical Storm Ida a few days ago, but uh, still something to watch here as it uh, continues to develop here uh, in the Caribbean here uh, under really favorable conditions, I must add, as well. Here's a look at Tropical Storm Ida right now. No Tropical Storm warnings or watches in effect at this point. Uh, as of the 10 p.m. Eastern Standard from Advisory 51, Center is currently located 32.3 degrees north, 79.0 degrees west. Maximum stay moment winds at 45 miles per hour. Moving northeast at 17 miles per hour, and it's forecast to continue weakening here and eventually turn into a post tropical uh, cyclone by around 7 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, there uh, on its way out um, away from the eastern coast of the United States. Here, here's satellite imagery of the storm right now, and uh, you can see what it looks like right now. Uh, pretty much a show of its former self as to what it looks like, say, about a, about a week and a half ago here um, when it was over Central America. Um, this truly incredible journey. Uh, this system has gone through so far here, and I can easily see why it's a tropical storm and not a hurricane we're talking about here. It's due to all this dry air getting entrained into the system here, going straight into it, uh, as well as high winds here, and then, of course, cool, cooler sea surface temperatures since we're in uh, November right now, and not, say, August or September at this point with this particular system here. So really fortunate that this is happening um, now and not, say, uh, you know, early, a few months earlier in August or September, like I said. So really fortunate in that regard. Still posing a lot of flooding threat, uh, a flooding threat for parts of the eastern coast, I must add as well. Um, so nothing to take lightly up there in terms of flooding. Um, switching to, to other, the other storm here that's also active, Tropical Storm Theta, as of the 3 a.m. GMT Advisory 13. Center is currently located at 31.7 degrees north, 26.0 degrees west. Let's say when it winds at 60 miles per hour, so slightly lower than it were originally at 65 miles per hour in the last update. And it's moving due east at 12 miles per hour. It's pretty much forecasting, continue moving. Uh, due east, maybe slightly south of due east here, and eventually take a sharp turn to the north here as it turns into a post-tropical cyclone um, just to the southeast of the Azores there, as you can see. So a uh, really interesting system, and it's forecast to maintain its current intensity for about the next 36 hours or so before it starts to gradually uh, lower in intensity before being uh, kind of uh, almost slain shot uh, to the north there um, in terms of a directional change there. Here's what the storm looks like on satellite imagery here. It doesn't look, really look too bad, actually. Um, firing some more convection uh, near the center of circulation here. Um, it'll be interesting to see if that tries to wrap around or not before it starts to really uh, start to d disintegrate here as it heads into a way more hostile environment uh, than it's in right now. And, and you can see that all this, this is all, all um, wind shear right here. You can see all this wind shear streaming to itself here. Um, and that's what the storm's going to be kind of heading into here. Um, there's also some really high winds here to its north there as well. You can see all that dry, that not, not that dry, well, also dry air too, but uh, mostly winds here just streaming on off uh, away from it. So it's kind of tucked in between the two uh, really large areas of, of winds here. 
um, and kind of found a really kind of the, the, the sweet spot per se uh, where it could where it's able to develop here. So really kind of remarkable stuff here. Switching basins again, well, switching basins uh, here, I should say. Uh, here's uh, look at the Western Pacific right now. We've got Typhoon 25W, also known as Vamco, still active in the South China Sea. And also got Invest 92S in the, in the South Indian Ocean uh, that has a high chance of formation here and even has a tropical cyclone formation alert with it uh, as well. So it's likely to come in our, uh, our uh, I think our first, actually, I think it's, one, I think it's our first uh, named, uh, it'll be our first named system of, of the season down there, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that if I'm wrong, just leave, leave a comment down below. Um, and uh, I apologize if I if I am wrong about that. Here's what uh, Typhoon 25W Vam Vamco looks like right now. Currently 75 knot sustained wind, which is about 80 miles per hour. Category one equivalent typhoon. It's forecast to maintain its intensity here for about the next 12 hours and start to gradually weaken here as it heads towards Vietnam, uh, likely as a moderate end, uh, 50 knot or about I think that 50 knot is about 60 miles per hour uh, equivalent tropical storm as it heads for Vietnam here. Um, by the looks of it. Um, on the 15th, around the 15th of November here. Here's what the storm looks like on satellite imagery right now. A fairly, uh, still fairly large system here. Um, you get to see how it's getting better than the eye. It looks like an eye feature trying to pop out there in the last few frames there. Um, see how far it gets before it starts to uh, gradually weaken here as it again uh, nears uh, Vietnam here as a weakening uh, tropical storm by that point, which should be. And I believe that's pretty much going to be about it for this tropical update here. Uh, main takeaways from this tropical update uh, for those of you guys in the Western Pacific, this of course isn't the Western Pacific you're looking at, this is the Atlantic here. But on the Western Pacific side of things, just keep a close eye on Typhoon Vamco. Uh, could impact you guys as a moderately strong tropical storm, so it might give you guys some flooding rains um, and heavy rainfall here. Um, so just be cautious about that and listen to your local officials about that. For the Atlantic side of things, Fade has absolutely no threat to the United States here. Um, mainly really a threat for, it, for the Azores, but it's not forecast to make landfall over the Azores, fortunately. Um, so they just need to be cautious about that too. Um, Tropical Storm Ida is on its way out. Um, so if it's still a threat at this point, should be the threat should be diminishing uh, slowly here as it uh, starts to move away at a pretty fast rate, um, which is really good news to see and uh, should not be an issue for the United States here as it continues moving away. Um, and then we got Invest 98L. And the Caribbean here, which has a high chance of formation. Some of the models are going really crazy here in terms of the intensity of this particular system. Um, so just please keep a close eye on it, especially for those of you guys in the Western Caribbean here, especially Central America, maybe as far north as Belize here, maybe maybe southern Yucatan. Um, keep a close eye on this here um, if you aren't already. Um, and again, if it does become our next name system, the next name up would be Iota uh, in the, the Greek, al the Greek uh, alphabet for this hurricane season here, uh, naming list. So that's pretty much going to be about it for this tropical update here. Hope you guys uh, have a great day or night wherever you guys are. Stay safe, of course. Remember, the link is down in the description below for what sites that I use. If you have any questions or comments, then leave them down in the comment section below. And uh, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability here. Um, and then, so again, I uh, hope everybody has a great day or night wherever you guys are. Stay safe. Until then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.